for Bucket List Homestead. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on one of my videos. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. So it's a new month and this is going to be a grocery haul video. I wasn't really planning on getting groceries today, but our daughter had a dentist appointment uptown. So I thought with gas the way it is, we are really trying to make the most of our trips. Um, and it saves my husband from having to spend an extra hour after work shopping. And I had to get my prescriptions. So I thought, okay, we might as well grocery shop today. So I'm doing stuff a little bit different with the rising cost and everything. Um, we're trying to go weekly or bi-weekly and shop more of the sales instead of necessarily buying in bulk. Um, just because it seems like <laughs> the prices go up daily. So that's what we're doing. And I'm also doing kind of a, it's not official, but I'm trying to do a pantry challenge. We have a quarter of a cow coming in nine days and I need to make a lot more room out of the freezer. So I'm trying to use up what we have. So even though we got a lot, um, it, we still have a lot in the house, but um, yeah, so I'm hoping other than like milk, um, we won't be buying anything else for a while, seriously, because we have got to eat up some of this stuff. So the first one I'm going to show you is we did a little haul at Walmart. So I got paper towels. I am trying really hard to go back to not using paper towel. We were a paper towel free house for, oh my gosh, over four years. And then my mom visited for quite some time. And it drove her crazy not having paper towels. So we had paper towel in the house and it kind of started a whole bad thing again. Well, my mom is coming this month for the summer. And I know she's going to want paper towels. So until she is gone, I'm going to do paper towels. But then my plan is to go back to paper towel free. Seriously, it really is. So um, these weren't too bad. These were on sale for, if I can look at my receipt really, really quick here. They were that much? Hold on a second. Well, the joke's on me because the tag was wrong. These cost $17.47 today. I thought they were on sale for $8.97. I thought that's what it said because it said 6 equal to 12. Um, yeah, I might be uh, <laughs> going back to Walmart and checking that out. Okay, anyway, I also got a bag of organic uh, purple onions. Um, I'm making salsa for tonight. For supper to go with taco salad and I needed some and the last time I bought these was in December and I literally just had to throw away the last two two weeks ago because they were beyond so the way I'm preserving them now seems to be working and I'll show you how in just a minute I also got two organic bell peppers for the salsa and, and the taco salad tonight I cannot wait till I start harvesting this out of my own garden um, I always pick up a thing of Aiden's rice when we go in because we had a very hard time finding it a few months ago and you all know his issues so I make sure we have it. And again the organic cereal that both the kids will eat that was on sale so I grabbed a um, bag of that. Uh, we love this lettuce sweet butter lettuce and mine's not quite ready to harvest yet so I got a bag of this to go for the taco salad tonight. It is so good. These mini cucumbers. Grace thought they were so cute, <laughs> which they are, but I have reinvigorated my health um, struggle, my health journey to getting healthy. And um, I kind of fell off the wagon for a little bit. And obviously some of you, you watch my videos, you know um, that I'm not exactly a size three, but I lost 50 pounds uh, starting in December 26, Boxing Day here in Canada, in 2019. And I ended up losing 50 pounds over the course of a year. I even managed to lose it during lockdown. And then some hard things happened last summer, kind of knocked me off, and I ended up gaining about 20 of the original 50 um, back. But I'm, I'm ready to get back into it. I started intermittent fasting again a few weeks ago. I'm already down almost six pounds. And I'm finding this is working for me. And something like this, these mini cucumbers, um, I'm not crazy about the plastic. I will find a use for them where we'll, we'll recycle it. But to have something like this in my refrigerator for a snack to go to means a lot. And if that means I can stay healthier, that's what I'm going to choose. So, yeah. Okay. And they're organic, too, which was pretty cool. No, they're not organic, but they're a product of Canada, so that made me feel okay. These are organic. This is for the salsa tonight. I love doing the little tomatoes for salsa. I'm the only one who really eats it. Sorry, not salsa. Pick a de gallo. 
Um, and I like having the little ones because I can make just a little amount for what I need it for. And then I'll have them for snacking. And then these are my new addiction. These avocado Caesar salads. If these are the twisted salads. I didn't care for the Asian one um, only because the dressing was a little bit hot, spicy, very spicy for me. These are so good. Um, so I've been adding chicken to these and having lunches with them. I love them. I cannot tell you how much I love them. And they have yellow and blue tortilla strips, um, corn kernels that have been like grilled grated Parmesan cheese, and the avocado Caesar dressing. I'm going to totally learn how to make it myself, um, do a, my own recipe, because it's addicting. I love them. And they have been hard to find, so to find. And these are good until June 9th, which gives us over a week. And they won't last that long, because <laughs> I seriously love them. So if you haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. And then... For another snack I like to have is peanut butter and apples. So they have the organic gala apples on sale at um, Walmart, and Grace loves these too. And we like having these in the evening, well, before my fasting time. I like to have this with some peanut butter and a little bit of uh, pistachios or cashews. Um, it's a great filling snack. And then these are new to us. This is the Annie's Mac and Cheese, and it's microwavable. And Gracie really likes the Annie's Mac and Cheese. Honestly, we all do. And this you can make weight in the microwave. And I believe the whole point of this packaging is that it's compostable. Yes, you can throw this in the compost. Um, but it's summertime and these kinds of things, convenient things are a lot easier to have around the house because we're just so busy. So I got that. Um, my natural stain remover is not working on dirt. <laughs> and if you have seen any of my gardening videos the last couple of weeks, you would know that I, I, I garden like I bake. I get very dirty. And silly me wearing my nice clothes because I figure I'm on video. I should at least look nice. And I have gotten shirt, uh, dirt on some of the things that are my nicer clothes. So I'm really hoping this OxyClean Max Force, it says specifically for dried in dirt, I'm going to try it because the natural stain remover I have is doing nothing. Nothing. Okay. And then also for the Pico de Gallo tonight, um, I got cilantro. They didn't have any fresh. Um, this lasts quite a while, so hopefully this will last me just long enough until I can start harvesting my own cilantro. I also, uh, Greek yogurt was on sale. Um, this is how I like to break my fast a lot. Plain Greek yogurt with my granola, some banana, and sweetened a little bit with my homemade jam. It's delicious. And then, like I said, convenience foods. We got some shells and cheddar. Um, and then Gracie asked for a box of her white cheddar bunnies. So that's all we got at Walmart. Right, Grace? That was it. Mm -hmm. And that this this little bit here came to $96.08. <sighs> now, granted, those paper towels were almost $18. They were almost $17.50. I'm really upset about that. Um, but even if I thought it was $10 less, it would have come to 80 something So <sighs> I hate these high prices right now. I hate them. Okay, we're going to get this off the table, and we will put our grocery store. That was where we got a little bit more stuff. So real quick, I wanted to show you how I've been storing my onions. So like I said, I bought the last batch of onions, purple and Spanish onions in December sometime when they were on sale. I literally had to just throw them away near the end of May. And because they, there was three left that I didn't get, get to, very sprouted and very mushy. So they were obviously past, but this is all I do. So this is um, our crawl space basement here. And in the video, I showed you how my husband kind of did a little re remodel on here to help me store more of my jars. Um, and eventually these jars will be full. So I just put them in this. This is just a wire basket I got from the dollar store. And I used one of my, I sacrificed one of my um, strainers. And I kept them in here. And we turn off the light. That's it. They lasted months. So obviously it's cooler there. So... Summertime now, we'll see um, what uh, happens, but um, yeah, who knew? Okay, so our third stop, I'll show you the second stop in a minute because that wasn't food. <laughs> our third stop and, and final stop, thank goodness, man, I like just staying home, was our independent grocery store. So got a little bit more there than I thought I was gonna, <laughs> typical, because... She went with me grocery shopping. That's why I got more than I was planning. 
So I got two bags of these diced up hash browns. I've got some um, freezer breakfast casserole type things I want to do and have ready, um, even for supper. It doesn't have to be for breakfast. Busy season, I want to get this done. So um, yeah, so I bought two bags of these. They were on sale, so I'm glad they were on sale. Um, Grace's, they find, somebody finally had her silky yogurts. We're having a hard time finding these. This was the only flavor they had was strawberry. Um, they were on sale, thank goodness, but that was it. We have not been able to find these. Um, we used to be able to get three flavors here. Strawberry, strawberry peach, and blueberry. Yeah, and now we're only, I mean, but we're going to count ourselves grateful because at least we found strawberry. I've got some organic sour cream. Um, I've got a couple of recipes I need that for. This is new. Um, cilantro lime crema. I love this stuff. Um, we get it from Costco in their taco, take-home taco kits, and somebody else has this. Mucho Burrito has it, and I'm the only one who's going to eat it. I could make my own, but... This was very reasonable. It was only a couple of dollars. So, yeah, and PC brand here in Canada, a couple of years ago, they went to no artificial colors, no artificial flavors. So it makes me feel better about buying PC. There's PC and there's PC organic. Grace needed deodorant. And this is the one she likes. So we got this. This stuff is very expensive. Thank God she buys her own. <laughs> um, we got some... Uh, liquid gel capsules we had no ibuprofen left and our son hurt himself the other day and he there was no ibuprofen for him to take so I got some of that I only we only got one thing of these because they weren't on sale um, I can't wait for pear season I am going to can dozen of jars dozens of jars of pears for grace because this is her favorite fruit um, and these are three, 380 for four pack when they're not on sale and our sales start tomorrow here and I didn't want to buy four or five packages and then find out they were on sale tomorrow. And not to mention, I won't buy them that many when they're not on sale. So if she wants more, she's going to have to buy them. <laughs> um, cheese was on sale. Um, so I got some medium and some marble. I like having that for a snack too. It's a heck of, heck of a lot better snack for you than, you know, a candy bar or something. And this was on three fifty dollars each off. So they were on for, I know this is ridiculous to say this, but I think they were $5.99, Grace. Is that right? Yes, they were on for $5.49, which is still ridiculous. I remember when that used to be the everyday price, and they would go on for $3.99 and $4.99. But, yeah, we won't be going to Costco for at least until my mom, we go to pick up my mom at the airport. So um, I definitely grabbed a couple of them to get us through. These are Grace's favorite brand of protein bars. And she loves this dark chocolate almond with sea salt. And they had these um, on a clear out, which makes us nervous because we're wondering if they're not making them anymore or they just had so many they had to get rid of them. That's what we're hoping. They just had so many. So they were on. I picked up one of these to also help when I want to break my fast gently and easier, um, mm -hmm. and it was 50% off, and it's good until June 12th. So, yeah, so I got one of them. Gracie's putting all the refrigerator stuff away as I'm showing it to you. <laughs> um, this is this brand of granola I've got, I have got. I got the almond and, I think, apple pieces one, and I loved it, and this one has a little bit of dark chocolate in it, so why not? So I got a bag of that. Um... These are new. Grace and I were actually going to eat these on the way home, a couple of them, and we forgot. So we thought we'd try these. These were only a couple of dollars, so I didn't think that was too bad. And they're made with dates, seed butter, seeds, coconut, and chocolate. I actually have a recipe that makes brownies with dates. I haven't made that in a long time, Grace. Might have to try that again. So there's them. Of course, our grocery stores are now carrying these. Um, smaller bag than Costco, but still. Um, and this is the oatmeal chocolate chip one. Grace and I love these. Highly, highly recommend these. <laughs> and we got Aiden some muffins. Um, that child, he does not eat hardly anything that's homemade. And I kid you not, um, talking to a couple other moms on the Tourette support group I'm in, it seems to be a very common thing with a lot of Tourette's children. And we were a young man that was in his 20s joined our conversation and he said he's 25 and he just started eating pizza literally just a few months ago. So there's hope, there's hope that things will get better. But yeah, um, he hardly anything homemade. So he doesn't eat my homemade muffins. So it's a compromise we've had to make. We buy him those. And they have gone up quite a bit since we first started buying them, like $3 more a container. I try to get them when they're on sale, and when they're on sale, I'll buy four at a time and freeze them. 
So we got eaten his muffins. And I got some of these organic sea salt baked pita crackers to eat with some cheese for a healthy snack. And then we get there <laughs> and Independent had these two. And they were over a dollar cheaper a container than Walmart. And I was just so angry. But I bought two more <laughs> just because they were cheaper. Because I know Grace is going to like having these for a convenience lunch. And um, they didn't have this kind at Walmart. So I got, and it's cheaper. I have to remember it. Walmart's not cheaper anymore for everything. So we got to really start remembering that. So I got two more boxes. And these are the bunny shaped ones. And then this is the family size deluxe, rich and creamy, um, white cheddar which grace loves and this is the yellow cheddar these are very similar to what you call those grace the Velveeta um mac and cheese that a lot of you in the states will know <laughs> um, but these are organic and they're very very good and these are the ones i add more to if i'm going to make supper to kind of make it a, a fuller meal so they're really good and then grace and i we love this peanut butter again this is so hard to find. I mean, for a long time, this has been hard to find. Now, this isn't the one we usually get. This is just the organic creamy, and this has no sugar added. Um, I started liking plain yogurt. I'm hoping I can start liking sugar-free peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I mean, I love it. I'm so grateful that neither one of the children are allergic to it because we all love peanut butter. My husband, my son, Grace, me. And... Um, I'm going to admit, I, I love my Jif. <laughs> I grew up on Jif. I love my Jif. And we can actually get Jif here now. Um, of course, now there's been, there was a recall on Jif here in the news. But anyway, um, I'm going to try it. I'm really hoping when I eat it with like apples and things, it will help. And hopefully I can get used to it just like I did plain yogurt. They're a little pricey, but if it helps me drink more water, I figure it's worth it. Um, I love the strawberry and lemon one. And the other one I get is blueberry and apple. Thank you, Grace. Um, but this one's my favorite. I love this. And like I said, once we start having ripe fruit, I will sweet. I will flavor my um, water with my own fresh fruit. But these are great. They're so good. And you get 12 of them, which kind of stinks. And they weren't on sale. But when they go on sale, I think I'm going to get a couple. And like I said, contains no artificial flavors, sugar-free. It's literally just strawberry, lemon, I think rose hips are in here, apple pieces, beetroot. That's it. I love them. So recommend those too. <laughs> and great. Well, it's not just Grace. I love chocolate hazelnut. And like you could eat this with a spoon <laughs> by the jar full. <laughs> so and luckily our PC, which is the store brand, PC Organics, they make it. This is $3 less a bottle than the, what's the other brand? Uh, Nutiva. Nutiva. Yes. So, so good. And my Irish breakfast tea was on sale, like almost four over $4 off a box. So I bought two of them. And then we bought a box. We love these. These buttermilk breaded chicken breast fillets. We'll be having those. Uh, these are, it's a couple meals. There's 17 pieces here, depending on who eats them. If we all have them, they're pretty much done on one meal. If, I on if we only eat them for lunch, Grace and I, while the boys are away, then it's a couple of times. So... And the grand total for all these incredibly um, huge amount of groceries, I'm being very sarcastic, came to, oh, this is almost embarrassing to say, but it came to $182.24. And the biggest expense was not the ibuprofen, believe it or not. That was actually only $10 for, I think it's 80 capsules. It's a big, super, I'll have to look at it again. It was Grace's protein bars. Normally these are $20 a box. The um, clear out price was 14. So but everything else, I mean, oh folks, it frustrates me to no end how expensive groceries have become. I forgot. I got one of these and Grace got the Berry Burst one. Um, Cause you know, Big victory for me. We didn't stop at Tim Hortons and get muffins. We didn't stop into McDonald's at Walmart. Um, I was starving. Um, I wasn't ready to eat when I broke my fast. So I'm trying to let my body know, hey, if you're not hungry, we're not going to eat. But by one time one o'clock came around, I was definitely hungry. So we had this and I'm going to have a few uh, crackers with some cheese just to tide me over to supper. So yay. Okay. Our last haul is Dollar Tree. 
So we didn't get a huge amount at Dollar Tree, which is also another victory for me. <laughs> um, and our Dollar Tree is now $1.50 for everything. Um, it's slowly been coming that, but now they have a sign up that says everything is uh, going to be at least $1.50. Um, it's still cheaper than Dollarama because their stuff is um, $4.00. Three, two, three, four dollars. There's very few things in there for a dollar or dollar twenty-five anymore. So, at Dollar Tree, my husband and I, uh, anticipation of getting central air put in, we cleaned our garage long weekend uh, here in May, and I mean we cleaned it. It hasn't looked this good, and it's still not even done since uh, we have, it hasn't looked that good since we moved in. So we bought these wonderful shelving units from our Canadian Tire. And he wants things to put his, like, the, the screws, the nails, the bolts, you know, all that stuff. But he didn't want something with a cover. So he wants to be able to look in and see. So I'm slowly picking him up these um, different baskets to put the different things in. Um, I got him a few of these. I don't know if he's going to need this length. And I got him this size for different things. Um, just so, yeah, we can be even more organized. Doing the garden this past weekend, being able to walk into the garage and find things we know where they were, that was amazing. <laughs> so yay us. We still have some more stuff to do in there and we're also renovating it. We're taking out the old insulation, adding new stuff, but hey, it's it's a work in progress. So yeah, so I got them them. We sell our eggs at the end of the row at the end of our driveway in a cooler. So I just we needed a few more of the bigger ones to put in um the cooler to help keep the eggs cool not necessarily cold because we don't wash our eggs we keep them on the counter but out there in the hot sun i don't think that's really good for eggs so we put them in there um it's getting very hot here it was boiling hot yesterday like very hot so i get these from the dollar store um i usually save them but i think we just used them so much last summer they were no good and i fill these up with water and put them in the freezer and we put them in the chicken's water dishes to keep the water cold um so we're not going out there every hour um to uh keep their water cold yeah so some of you may know some of you may not know i got a cricket a couple of weeks ago my husband finally told me just go get the cricket <laughs> basically for mother's day um because i was getting frustrated that i was asking people who do this for a living making things um to make me things and people weren't getting back to me or whatnot so my husband just said go buy one learn how to do everything your own so i bought a couple of different mugs these were only a dollar fifty each yeah and um to practice doing my cricket on them um i got two kinds like a glass one and a ceramic one this way i'm not out a lot of money if i screw up on them <laughs> And they do have some Cricut tools at the Dollar Tree. So I got picked up this and I picked up another scraper that helps you get all the bubbles out of your vinyl and everything. So yeah. And at the Dollar Tree, I spent $33.90. This all came to $33.90. Well, I guess each one of these is $1.50. And I bought six of each of that size. And these were two for $1.50, but I still bought, you know, three sets. So and I don't want to leave my house again for another week. <laughs> I just, I feel better at home. I really do. So I'm proud of myself um, for what we got for, for snacks. Um, I'm proud that I am trying to get back onto my, it's, it's about being healthy. And I'm already feeling better. Um, I literally feel like I've lost more than this almost six pounds. Every ounce counts. Um, I feel better. I really do. I feel like... I have, I definitely have more energy and I feel like I've lost more than five. I, I can, I feel the difference in my body. Chances are I've lost inches, which I haven't checked yet. Um, but I've struggled with my weight <sighs> pretty much. I can be, remember being as young as 10 and people were remarking about my baby fat and being worried about, you know, not being that size six. And boy, do I wish I was the size I was in high school when I thought I was overweight because I sure was not was not so sorry kind of getting a little personal into this uh, grocery haul but anyway so so there's my grocery haul for June and uh probably a little bit more information than you were <laughs> 
expecting to hear. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget your little the little bell notification to let you know when more videos are coming out. I try and get a video out every Tuesday and Thursday for sure. I do a live almost every Wednesday. And sometimes there might be a little extra video on Saturdays. Until then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.